Well, new at five, it's the giving season, and the Salvation Army is helping local families in need. Our Demetria Sanders joins us live now in studio, and he shows us how the Salvation Army is making sure children have presents under the tree this Christmas. Demetrius. Well, Rebecca, especially around the holidays, staff with Salvation Army say there's lots of Peoria area families in need of a little extra assistance, and today the organization lending a helping hand by making sure children have a Christmas to look forward to. This holiday season, many are feeling an extra pinch on their wallets. We have a lot of things going on with the price rising costs and everything. It's hard for single families or families in general to celebrate Christmas, let alone get gifts for kids. This week, some finding relief at the Peoria Salvation Army. On Tuesday and Wednesday, the organization hosting a toy shop where families could shop for gifts for children at no cost. We really do depend on the donations. Um, we partner with Toys for Tots to provide toys, as well as about 10 other organizations and agencies in the community. Last year, the Salvation Army distributed toys for nearly 900 children. This year, more than 2,600 children will be served. We are um, having folks come through that are working families but still need that extra assistance, especially now um, with our utility rates going up. And not only will families receive toys, but they'll also receive a box of food to make sure they have a meal this Christmas. The food insecurity is real. It is here in our community. Even the last quarter, we've had a significant increase of 200% of people that are in need of food. And parents like Candace Webb say their children will be able to have a Merry Christmas with the help they received. When she gets home, She'll have gifts wrapped under the tree from Santa, of course. But, of course, with the help of Salvation Army, it definitely makes a difference for us. Now, the Salvation Army also gave out toy-filled red stockings through the Journal Star Christmas Fund. Hundreds of volunteers also helped make the toy and food distribution possible. 